Hello and welcome to the second podcast in the series that's designed to help familiarize you with the financial calculator. In this episode, we'll work four examples to illustrate the four basic types of time value money problems. We'll examine the future value of a lump sum, the future value of an annuity, the present value of a lump sum, and the present value of an annuity. Let's take a look at the basic equation for compound interest. This is the same equation we first saw in perhaps college algebra. The equation tells us that the future value equals the present value times the quantity 1 plus the annual rate divided by the number of compounding periods per year raised to the power of n times t, that is the number of compounding periods times the number of years. Now let's relate the variables in the equation to the keys on the calculator. a sub 0 is the amount at time 0 or present value, a is the amount in the future or future value, little r divided by n equals the periodic interest rate or i slash y, little n times t equals the total number of payments for compounding periods that is capital N on our calculator and PMT of course equals the amount of the payments. Since time value of money problems are word problems I recommend setting up a table to help get organized. We need two columns and five rows to list our variables and their values. Let's do an example where we find the future value of a lump sum. The problem tells us that the investor has ten thousand dollars to invest. That of course would be the present value. The variable is entered as a negative because the money is a cash outflow to the investor. Enter this value by typing in ten thousand then pressing the plus minus key down at the bottom of your calculator then press present value or PV. The number of periods capital N is sixty why? Because that's five years times twelve months per year. The interest rate, I slash Y, should be entered by typing in eight, dividing by twelve, then pressing equal, then pressing I slash Y. Caution here. If you can look at this and you say to yourself, well, I think I know what the answer is, let me round it off and enter it, you're probably going to get the wrong answer. So I recommend just letting the calculator do all the work. Just simply type in the interest rate as a whole number, then divide by the number of compounding periods per year, press the equal sign, then hit the variable. Don't engage in any rounding off. Now to compute the future value, we simply press the CPT key in the upper left hand corner, then press the future value key. Let's calculate the future value of a series of regular payments, otherwise known as an annuity. The investor wants to know how much she will have in 10 years or the future value. The PMT or payment is 300, the IY is 7 divided by 12, and the N number of periods is 120 months. So after clearing the TVM worksheet by pressing second, clear TVM, let's enter the variables. Type in 120 and press N. Type in 300, then press the plus minus key, remember down at the bottom of the calculator, and press PMT. Type in 7 divided by 12, then press the equal button, then press I slash Y, and finally, in order to compute, press the CPT key, then press FV for future value. Let's change gears and calculate the present value of a lump sum. Here we know the future value, one million dollars, and want to know how much this is worth in today's dollars. In other words, what is its present value? So we type in six and press N. Because, why? Because she'll be 21 in six years. We type in five and press IY because five is the interest rate. Remember, we have to enter our interest as a whole number. One million is the future value, so type in one million and press FV. To compute the present value, press CPT, then press PV. Now for our last example, let's find the present value of a series of equal payments or an annuity. Type in 20 and press N because it's 20 years. Type in 6 and press IY for the interest rate. Type in 30,000 and press PMT for payment. Now finally in order to compute this, press CPT and press PV. In summary, we need to make a table for each problem, then enter the value, then press the key for that variable. Remember, that's our order of operations. We want to type in the number, then hit the variable, not backwards. It won't work if you do it backwards. 
we want to enter the interest rate as a whole number and sometimes if we have uh, multiple compoundings per period we may have to divide by little n the number of compoundings per period. If we have a cash outflow we need to use the plus minus key after entering the value in order to change the sign of the value to reflect a cash outflow. Don't round off, let the calculator do the work. Then in order to calculate the actual value or variable we need to press the CPT key then the key of the desired variable.